video today, man, coming from none other than Joe Knows, man. Y'all already know what to do, man. Shout out to Joe Knows. Let's give a big shout out to Joe Knows. You know what? And this is, this is what I want to do. I don't want to get none of my brothers and sisters in trouble with their bags. You feel me? So, I like to make sure we understand that Joe Knows is not talking or bashing 2K. You understand what I'm saying? We want to make sure we get that out there. I'm just, I just want to give him a big hand clap because, in my opinion, he's, he's, um, he's being down the middle. You know what I'm saying? And I, and, I, and I like the approach of being down the middle. In my opinion, I feel like some, I don't want to name no others. I'm just going to say, we're going give to the, give the hand clap to Joe Knowles on right here, though, man. He's he been down in the middle. He haven't been talking crazy about 2K. And, you know, he been down in the middle with the community. Just make sure you're able to pick up what he put down. You got to be able to see the body language, see the facial reaction, see the, you know, and then it'll let you know. Because, see, we got to understand, y'all. Everybody ain't trying to get on this train that Anonymous on. And we don't want people on this train, especially not these fake-ass niggas. Definitely don't want you on the train, nigga. We're happy you jumping off. <laughs> Please jump off some more, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? But, um, no, see, I, I want you to see, but see, Mo, we got to catch the wave. Some niggas play different. They slide the, see, Kanye West was a nigga that tried to give you gems and almost lost everything. You understand what I'm saying? Some niggas play the game different. All right. Tell My one dog if, full score. Yo, appreciate that, Big Reese. Up. Tell you one if you understand it. Some people play the game different. So, now, you know, some people, they, they go underneath the door and hand you a letter. And then they take out running. And you don't even know it. They be sitting right next to the president. Some people do that, y'all. Some people are sitting right next to the president, but still sliding letters underneath the door. Whew. That boy said Dick Gregory. Okay. I'm just saying, y'all, some people play different. Some people slide letters underneath the door, man. So they ain't going to always be out here on the same block we on. You know, you know, y'all. Yeah. Man, 2K, what the fuck is y'all talking about? This ain't no real game. You know, some people, so some people gonna slide letters underneath the door. Now, I'm not saying Joe knows is that man that slide letters underneath the door, but I'm just saying, though, I love the, 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 the content I've been watching from Joe knows lately. But let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Uh, so Joe knows say NBA 2K24 already dropped it, patch one. Trying to figure out how to have affiliations balanced. What ideas do y'all have? Would switching these around work? How can y'all ask us our opinion if something should change when we don't even have the information about what we were supposed to get in the first place? <laughs> That's 14 seconds within the video, y'all. 14 seconds. Let. Let. <laughs> we want, we want, <laughs> we want, we want, we want. Trying to figure out how to have affiliations balanced. What ideas do y'all have? Would switching these around work? How can y'all ask us our opinion if something should change when we don't even have the information about what we were supposed to get in the first place? Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Why would I answer a question? That's a, you see, you know what? You know what this stuff be reminding me of? I, I know some of y'all haven't watched First 48. It's like a Trump question. I don't know how I can answer that. What am I going to answer a question about something like that when I don't even know what the fuck it is? I don't even know what the boost do. Why would I answer a question about flipping something 
that I don't know what I'm flipping. Hey, did you see him go in there? See who go where? I ain't seen shit. Where, where is you talking about? First, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, dog. Yet, thousands of people answer the question. Thousands of people gave an answer to the, to the, don't even, what the fuck did you give an answer to? What did you, what did you give an answer to? Can't even tell you. Can't even tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not wasting any time. We're going to get right into it. There's a lot going on in terms of NBA 2K24. They're changing the game before it even comes out, whether that's good or bad. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Let's just check out all the information, and then I'll give you my opinion on it. So, first things first, as if you've been watching any of my build videos, like I told y'all, use the informational purposes only. You see what I'm talking about? Get the information if it's true. Don't go off of the gameplay, though. When you're looking at these build videos, you can get an idea of what you're dealing with because you know 90% of that stuff have to go into 2K24. But the gameplay, the gameplay can be changed at the drop of a hat. Before I move forward, type one if, if y'all understanding what I'm talking about with that. You can get the build information, but you can't get the gameplay information. Type one if I'm making sense when I when I say that. Type one if I'm making sense when I say that. He said I'm making 2K con this content this year. Oh, you got to, bro. Get in there. Don't, you know what I'm saying? If, if that's a passion of yours, get in there. All right. So most everybody understand what I'm saying. We can get the we can get the bill information, but we can't get that content because we can't. That's not valid. It's not valid. If I'm showing you. If I'm showing you rookie gameplay on a made-up game, and I say, and you notice I keep saying that, y'all? It's a reason. Hey, for y'all that don't know why I keep saying that, it's a reason I keep, I keep saying it. It's a reason. You know, come on, just ease up on me. It's a reason I keep saying that. I want people to make sure they hear that. So, yeah. If the gameplay fake, then it's not going to make sense that the build would do exactly what we're seeing in the game because if it's on Ricky and it's made up gameplay, then I can't, I can't go off of that. He said you can't even get the build information because they changed the requirements. Whew. Now, from my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, it still costs to get, see, all the requirements haven't changed, but I do know what you're saying though. But as of now, it still requires a 99 strength to get Hall of Fame bulldozer. See what I'm saying? Like, there are some things that change, some things that haven't changed. So when you're going to look at a build video, you can see the possibility of how far you can go with attributes Maybe I can, I'm going to explain it. I'm going to explain it and when we get to it. I'm going to try to break that down because I know some of y'all may be a little confused with what I'm saying with that. So when we get to the bills, when we get to this uh, video right here, I'm going to try to explain what I'm talking about with that. Because as you can see, the builder that we had at Community Day is not fully accurate to how it will be when the full game drops. See, Zach Timmerman tweeted... We'll be dropping the very recently updated attribute requirements for my career badges tomorrow. Stay tuned. And then I said, did it change since community day? Because I don't want to put out any misinformation in my videos telling people this is accurate. This is how you, this is how you be a leader of your community. This is how you be a leader of your community. You have to stand on what you're putting out. You have to stand on what you're putting out, and then when the people come back and say, hey, Joe Knows, this bullshit you're putting out. Joe Knows can't say, well, I don't know it's bullshit. So I love that he tweeted it. It didn't change since Community Day. I don't want to put out misinformation in my videos. Hey, you got to respect that. You got to respect it. You got to respect it. You got to respect it. Y'all respect it, dog. And, and listen, you're not going to be able to catch every bug. 
Because see, as a content creator, you're only gonna get so much information from the from the from the from the supply shop. Is that a good one? Ah, what what? The producers. The producer only gonna tell you so much. You feel me? Their job is to feed you product so you can go market it. If they, they ain't gonna come back and say, hey, yeah, we changed this. Hey, we changed it. Put this in your new video. Type one if you understand what I'm saying. Type one if you understand what I'm saying. The producer ain't finna call up the content, the, 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 the people that go out and sell off the, 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 the drug, the marketers, and, and tell them every update. No. So they're not gonna catch all of them. But it's good that you know that they are trying. And I respect this from Joe. I respect that because guess what? Joe knows got a million and a million subscribers that he gotta be responsible for. Joe knows make a see anonymous have a YouTube channel. I make a YouTube video and then I tell y'all, hey, what I tell y'all? I said, hey, I'm finna go buy a puzzle. I went and bought the puzzle. Now, nobody asked me about the puzzle, but I showed y'all, I said, y'all ain't even asked me, did I get the puzzle or not? But I got, I had show, I came back and showed y'all that I actually had the puzzle. Now, my lady been getting on me, because we ain't been able to play with the puzzle uh, since I got the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So, we got to make something out of that. Because we've been, a lot of shit been going on. We've been, you know, busy, busy. And uh, sick, everybody been getting sick. A lot of business been going on, trying to get shit conducted. So it's been a lot of shit going on. But I'm just saying, though, I made sure I had that. Cause I, so Joe Knowles have a responsibility to his community. Joe Knowles don't have a, a thousand people in there. He got a million supporters. So if Joe Knowles putting out fake content, if Joe Knowles putting out fake content, and he's going to have a lot of people wasting their money based on what the information, see, this is why transparency is important. Type two if you're following me. This is why we so appreciative of the devs coming inside of the spaces on Twitter. We appreciate that because it's building that transparency. You feel me? But see, when you're not transparent about Impact that that was mainly for the builder. We're Wait, lucky so, we even got gameplay like that. So, I have a question when you loaded what? when the game was loaded up in the main menu. I just have a quick question. Uh, do you think it's kind of embarrassing how many like in game mistakes 2K had? See, we have to be transparent about it all. That's way we can all come together. We can all come together. We can all come together if we can be transparent. But as long as shit being hidden, and now we out here spending thousands of dollars on a game that you're constantly changing and, and maneuvering things around, man, we don't already spent money. You feel me? That's 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 bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad on us. And guess what? We're going to talk trash about the game that y'all are making. See, see, devs, when, you, when, when, when we don't be transparent about the bills and all the other shit, now we're going to say it's a shitty game. We say a shitty game because, my nigga, I just spent how much money on that bill right there? Are you telling me y'all changed that shit over there? Oh, man, everything fucked up now. Everything fucked up now, dog. Everything fucked up. I just spent how much money on these bills, and now the system telling me that now this person over in 2K23. He said, y'all expecting a finesse to feel bad for robbing you. Woo. Let me read that out loud. Y'all expecting a finesse to feel bad for robbing you. Mm, mm, mm. It's whew. Wow, that's deep. Okay. Hey, I, I respect it, my nigga. You know, whew. what? Okay. I, I fuck with that. 
Y'all expecting a finesser to feel bad for robbing you. Mm. Okay, let's get back into the show. Uh -uh. But so as I was saying was, <laughs> uh, what was we? Shit. Okay. Damn, my nigga. See, sometimes the truth hurt. Come on now, the truth hurts sometimes. Sometimes the truth hurt, bro. Sometimes the truth hurt, man. Sometimes the goddamn truth hurt. It hurts sometimes, bro. When you sitting there looking at motherfuckers producing content that you know, you know, you know all this shit been changed, yet you still ain't making. Okay. Okay. God damn, Nick. Come on, y'all. Uh, I'd rather be at least transparent and say, hey, this has changed a little bit. So just use this as like, uh, you know, as a vision for what you want to make. Not not exactly because it's going to change. You know, even hey. the bills that I'm putting out, even if I wanted to make it, I'm going to tweak it because the like he said. You see what he's saying? See, this is what. Can we get all our YouTubers just to, to take this role to take this? Is it is it possible or is it going to it hurt? It's going to hurt your money. Ah, it's going to hurt. Damn, man. I wish it was possible for all y'all to get rich and, and tell the truth. It gonna hurt if y'all go this route. You still gonna get supporters. Like, they gonna fuck with you even. Imagine if you told your supporters the real. They gonna, oh, but you wanna be friends with the company. You don't really wanna be friends with your Oh, okay. So it's, it's more so you wanna protect the company and not your supporters. Ah, okay. So how, how can we make this shit fair for everybody? I mean, 2K still going to fuck with you because they need you. 2K need you as much as you need them. So, I mean, like, can you just keep it real with... Because, look, and I'm not just saying this for your supporter because I'm a supporter. I got to watch your content, too, to get the information. I got to go on Twitter and see the information. So, like, can y'all pr protect us? Why are you protecting 2K over us? Oh, you, you selfish, huh? Hold on. What he said? Y'all expecting a finesse to fit. Oh, you don't feel bad. Ah, oh, shit, I thought y'all cared about us. Ah, oh, fuck, man. My bad. I thought y'all cared. I thought y'all cared about the community. Like y'all say, y'all. See, I care about the 2K community. Yeah, because I know if niggas out here happily that we don't have defense in our game, then I know these niggas are fucking up the game. Yeah, if, if 2K got to punish offense to make it seem like we got defense, nah, nigga. So now you fucking over my niggas on offense just to give us an illusion of defense? Fuck no. See, I don't want 2K to give me a band aid. I want 2K to fix offense and fix defense. Then, if we can't do that, how about we be transparent? Okay, the only way that we can fix offense is we're going to have to make defense look like this. And the only way to fix defense, we're going to have to make it. Let's be transparent. The requirements for the badges have changed, but that's not it. That's just the tip of the iceberg, okay? Over here, y'all remember the video I posted a couple days ago talking about the affiliations of uh, Rise and Elite and how you get certain boosts from each affiliation, but they haven't told us exactly what those boosts are yet? Well... So they haven't told us what the boosts are yet. But everybody is saying that they need to change it. So you telling me the 2K community don't even know what these boosts are, but they're advocating for a change. Let me ask y'all something. If the game is made to showcase attributes this year, then by chance, could it be that these boosts won't be that significant? I wonder one if that sound about right. I one if that sound about right. If, if, if 2K is saying attributes is the most important thing this year, badge is only going to be a, a little icing on the cake. So it, 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 it's safe to say that these boosts are not going to be too crazy.
So it's like we're asking for something. We're building. This is what we are doing, y'all. We're becoming the bad type of Karens. That's what we're doing. See, that's a good type of Karen, and then that's a bad type of Karen. We're becoming some crybabies, some victims, some I want, I want this change, I want that change. We're building that habit. We haven't even played 2K, and we already got five to six things changed before the game come out. Y'all, y'all, notice that, y'all. We're building a behavior that is bad. We had the game haven't came out, and we already got five to six things changed. That's not good. That's not good, y'all. The game haven't came out. And instead of us going out there to play the game, to see what 2K has to offer, because last time I checked, 2K was doing real good. When the last time I went live? Three days ago, y'all? It's been three days since I've been live, right? Three days ago, 2K was in a motherfucking good spot. Sat back here and listen to the 2K community ask for change after change after change after change. After... I said, what the fuck? And every time I see Mike Wayne say, okay, we're going to pass that. Okay, we're going to pass that too. Okay, we're going to pass that. Okay, y'all want this change? These motherfuckers done went from gameplay to changing fucking affiliations. I wouldn't be surprised. If this shit ain't even named Elite versus Rise no more. I wouldn't be surprised if this shit isn't changed from Elite versus Rise. I'm telling y'all, we're going down a... Listen. Do y'all understand when you start saying change, 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 you overlook the real important changes. But because you've been... Y'all appreciate that. Y'all heard about the story, the boy that cried wolf? Type one. Type one if you heard about the story of the boy that cried wolf. See, he cried wolf so many times that when he actually was in need, Nobody wanted to believe him. Nobody came to rescue because he had cried wolf so many times. See, there's real things in 2K that need to be changing, but y'all are taking the power. See, you are abusing Mike Wayne right now. You are abusing the 2K community. See, listen to 2K. See, let me show you. Oh, listen to this. Listen to this. 2K is vulnerable right now. They put out a shitty product in 2K23. They're, they're vulnerable right now. So they're trying their best. 2K is facing a big lawsuit. Have you heard about it? Type 2. 2K is vulnerable right now. So they're trying to make sure that they give you the best possible game and y'all are taking advantage of it. The 2K community is going to fuck up the entire fucking game. All because you're seeing a weakness right now in 2K. And they're just trying to make sure that they give you the best game. Once again, three days ago, we was in love with 2K24. What happened? What happened three days ago? I went live. I went live three days ago. We was in love with 2K24. What happened? Y'all finna go too far? Hey, see, hear me out, y'all. He said, nigga, 2K took advantage of us for how long? Type two if he missing the big picture here. He said, nigga, 2K took advantage of us for how long? Type two if he missing the point. Type two if he missing it. I'm not saying let's not get our get back from 2K. But do you see what niggas are asking to change, my G? Niggas ain't saying let's let's get this get back on gameplay. 
Niggas are trying to patch everything that looked like an issue without playing the game to see if it is an issue. Fight three if I'm making sense. Motherfuckers are trying to change the game on things that look like an issue, but not an issue. Motherfuckers ain't playing the game. Anybody who played 2K24. So how the fuck are we having conclusions? How the fuck are we having a conclusion on what is bad for 2K24 when we haven't played one motherfucking... We haven't played a second. We haven't played a second of 2K24, and we done got five to six things changed. All because of a cry. What I'm saying to you, G, you're going to make them go back to not changing nothing. See, this is what y'all going to start. They're going to go back into that not talking to you. Because now that they're talking to you, they're finding out. They really don't know what they want. They really don't know what they want. Look at this moron. Look, we got a moron coming through. I respect the hustle you're doing to build your channel, but all that talk and make you a hypocrite when you know damn well you're going to buy the game. Have anybody heard me say I was not going to buy 2K24? Listen, this, 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 this niggas they listening to. This is niggas they listening to. I'm telling you. It's niggas like him that's out here. When did I say I wasn't buying 2K24, man? Man, get your mother. Man, get your broke, dick, billy, woke up. Man, hey. What? Get your goddamn it one leg longer than the other ass up out of here, man. Get on up out of here, bro. Get on up out of here with your fucked up walk. Okay, listen. Back to what I was saying, dog. Nah, man. Master Moron, bro. You don't come in and just say some shit that I didn't say. That's a moron. That's a one-legged nigga right there, man. Who just came in here and said, I ain't said nothing about no we not about. Man, get the fuck on, bro. So, so back to what I'm saying, because he's trying to distract me, y'all. We are going to run 2K away from us, y'all. We have 2K in the palm of our hands right now. Type 1 if you're hearing me. We have 2K in the palms of our hand. 2K let us down for multiple years. They let us down for multiple years in a row. 2K23 was the final scroll. So now 2K is trying to please us. But they're trying to please us when we don't need to be pleased. We don't need to give a fuck about some shit that we haven't played yet. So now when we actually play the game, we start to need some shit patched up. You know what they're going to say? Well, y'all asked for this. Boom, got you right where they want you. Niggas voted for any... Yo, appreciate that. Appreciate it. Do y'all remember the poll? Mike Wayne said, if you have a 73 ball, and healthy badges, what percentage, what, what numbers would you like to see the three ball, you know, go to? Think about this. Mike Wayne created a system of regression on badges. He created a system of defense in 2K24. From what we heard, the 2K community voted for 80 to 85 if they have a healthy bash loadout. Now when the game come out and people are making bad shots on you because they have... See, he, made, he gave you the example at a 73 ball. Now what if people create a build with an 83 ball and they have a healthy bash loadout and then they get a plus 10 from takeover. Now that's a 90. Then they get a plus 10 from a healthy bash loadout. That's a 103 ball. Type 2 if you follow me. Type 2 if you're following me, so I can keep going. Mike Wayne gave you the example from a 70, but now what if people make an 83 ball, but because of the takeover, that's a plus 10, now that's 90. Then you got a healthy bad throw out, that's another 10, that's 103 ball. So you asked for defense, and then you just told him in a poll, I don't want the defense. You asked for a defensive 2K. And then you come right back out in a poll and say, I don't want defense. Do y'all understand what we're going to do to our own community again? We're going to fuck the game up. 
We're asking for changes after changes after changes after changes. And then when the game come out, they're going to say, this is what you asked for. So we're burning our bridge by asking to change every damn thing in the game. And the game hasn't fucking came up. We're burning our bridge. We have 2K in the palm of our hand. They know they let us down for 2K23. So they are trying to do everything to please us. But you motherfuckers are asking for shit. That we don't, God damn it, shut your fucking mouth. Let's play the game first. Let's play the damn game first, and then we go back and talk. Let's play the game, and then we say, hey, Mike Wayne, can we get this adjusted? But no, we can't get this adjusted, because you motherfuckers are out here using up all our motherfucking cars. You niggas are using up all our ass 2K cars. Up. So shut your fucking mouth. You are burning the bridges that we have. We have 2K in the palm of our hand right now. Y'all are fucking it up. Y'all want every fucking thing patched in the game. I ain't played one fucking game. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. <laughs> it's, getting, it's getting crazy, all right? So Uncle Debbie said, trying to figure out how to have affiliations balanced what ideas do y'all have would switching these around work if not uh if not then then what let us know here's my thing we don't even know exactly what these affiliation boosts you're right about it. he said some of these motherfuckers love 23 uh this day best 2k ever that's the problem yo type one i seen a poll i seen people saying I wonder how many people are gonna say 2K23 was actually good now that it's over. Who in their right mind would say that? Who, who, who in their right mind would go back and say, yeah, man, uh, yeah, 2K23 was actually a good game. Man, that's the only this is the only 2K I don't think the community would change that. I don't think the 2K community can play 2K24 and then say 2K24 is ass. I want to go back and play 2K23. I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening, dog. I will be fucking. Sh Listen, I will cut my hair bald if the community say that 2K24 is ass and they would rather go back and play 2K23. I haven't played 2K24. I cut my hair bald. If the 2K community go back and say, I really enjoy 23. If the community say it, not, not just a couple of motherfuckers. If the community, I cut my hair ball. That's the only 2K. I don't think motherfuckers should go back and say that game was good. I don't, I don't, I don't see that happening motherfucking at all. I cut my hair ball. If the community, the community dog, say that game was actually good. Man, I don't see that shit happening in them. I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. I'm that, I'm bold like that. I don't see 2K23 becoming good all of a sudden 2K24 out. Hell no. Nah, Give dude. us, right? If you're not aware, basically Rise was going to give you a finishing boost and a playmaking boost. <laughs> Elite was going to give you a defense boost and a shooting boost. But essentially, we don't even know if it was just like a 5% boost. We don't know. It was actually going to give you like plus four attributes. No. So, now check this out. It's already been confirmed that it would not affect animations or badge requirement. Type one if you understand that. So therefore, appreciate it, grateful. Therefore, it was only a boost percentage wise. It was only a boost percentage wise. So, what's the big deal? So, guess what? It's nothing OP about these boosts. When it's the percentage and not numbers. And listen, once again, attribute boosts from affiliation will do not contribute to an animation or a batch requirement. So, the only thing that it gave you was a little percentage. Like the, like the gym rat. But, 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 but not like the gym rat, because the gym rat gave you a number. The gym rat gave you plus four. So it was like that, but without the numbers, it gave you a little, a little percentage. 
So these niggas are stressing out by affiliation from a fucking percentage standpoint. 2K community, y'all fucking it up. We have them in the palm of our hands and we finna fuck it up by asking them to change every fucking little thing. These people gonna get tired of us asking for shit. Nigga, they barely wanna give us something. So you telling me we finna keep asking, change this, change that, change this, change that. They gonna keep doing it. But now, then when the game come out, you gonna be left on your own with a fucked up game. All right. And then the question was, are those plus- Yeah, like some volume shooter type shit. Four attributes gonna be able to unlock certain badge levels. Are those plus four attributes gonna be able to unlock new animations? Okay, I like that. Okay, my boy Teo just said, he said, no, you're reading it wrong. It can give you attributes or percentage. He said, we don't know yet. It might be plus three. It's plus three bad. So let's just say, for the record, let's say it's a plus three or it's something that do with percentage wise. Is plus three going to hurt anybody? Uh, uh, a little percentage or, or a plus three, is that going to hurt anybody? What I'm saying, y'all, we burning up our get out of jail free cards. 2K let us down for 2K23. We're going to burn it up, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna burn up, we're gonna burn up our get out of jail free cards. I'm telling you, we're gonna burn it up. And then when we get the game, when we get the game. So we had a concept of what we were getting, but we didn't even know what we were getting. And now they're they're talking about they're considering changing it when the game hasn't even come out yet. So it's like I don't even know what to think. Like, is it good? Is it bad? Like, I guess if something is broken. Hey, I'm nice, B. I love what you just said. <sighs> Everyone won't change like it gonna make or make one specific group more OP when 2K already tested everything before. Everything has already been counted for. The 2K community is saying the work that y'all did, fuck that shit. We want it how we want it. If 2K is already having the builder restricted, so you you are y'all seeing how some of these builds are so shitty? They really not shitty. That's just what the system is, though. Type four. If you understand that some of these bills are shitty, but some of these bills are not shitty, they just are that restricted. All these bills are not shitty. Now, there are some shitty ones, but these bills are different from 2K23. They're different from 2K22. So, it's not that the bills are ass. 2K just now allowing you to get everything that you used to get back in the days. So what y'all finna do is, y'all finna change everything that they already had accounted for. Well, you said it. They're about to change everything that 2K has designed 2K24 to be finna go out the window. They don't even understand, bro. They don't even understand. They're saying, yo, why the builder, why it look like this? Man, I can't get no defense. I can't get no playmaking. Man, hold on, 2K. Some ain't right. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong. 2K just is making the builders restricted in 2K24. So you are saying, man, the builds are trash. The builds are not trash. You just gotta find your spot. This gonna be a whole new game. Everything that they built around 2K24. We are trying to throw it out the window. We are trying to throw it out the window. Shit is crazy, bro. Shit is crazy. Like, for example, if last year they... Think about this. Let's go even farther. Look at the bad system. 
They don't even like the bad system when the bad system is to contain a skill gap. Oh, man, I don't want to lose that much regression on my badge, bro. I heard a nigga I fuck with say some silly shit. See how I keep it? I just don't call niggas name. But I heard a nigga I fuck with say some silly, silly shit like, I don't want to go back to my career and, and form my badge. My nigga, we need a skill gap. If niggas want to get a badge that they really don't earn, but they formed it in my career, yes, my nigga, after every game, go back to my career, nigga. Because you did not earn it in the game against me. So go back to my career and get that hoe. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know I fuck with you, but that silly shit, my nigga, guess what? Why should you be able to keep unpluggable Hall of Fame in the game against me, but you formed it in my career? So yeah, my nigga, when you lose that hoe, go back to my career, nigga, and get it. If you want it like that. We just want to get, we just want to form badges in my career and keep them against real players. Get the fuck out of here, dog. You niggas corny, bruh. You niggas want to play against robots and get the badges on top tier and then come out here and play against us and won't. No. You see what I'm saying? Y'all are trying to change the entire system of 2K24. Y'all trying to change the entire system. Of what I think is the most skilled 2K ever, and I haven't played it. But based on the system, would make this the best 2K ever based on the system. I don't know about gameplay yet because I haven't played it. But based on the system, this is the best 2K ever based on the system. I don't know about gameplay. I don't know about gameplay. Niggas want to play offline, bro. And, 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 and get their badges that talk to. You see how niggas try to change everything that has something to do with a skill gap? Everything that has something. Come on, now let me slow down. Everything that has something to do with a skill gap, they're trying to change it. Realize the 6 9 point guards were broken in the aspect that their badge tiers would gave them a huge advantage over other builds, they could have addressed that before the game came out. And that would have been a good thing, obviously. But the more balance we can create, the better. The more balance, the better. But like I said, so the builder that everybody's seeing is a little outdated. Now we're talking about changing affiliations. We're about to talk about the fact that they're patching animations already. They're, they're changing a lot, and I hope it's for the better. I hope it makes the game better, just like I'm sure you do. But <sighs> y'all see where I'm going with this. It's like, we don't even really, for example, we don't even know what we're getting here, right? And we're already talking about changing stuff up. <sighs> you'll see the comments, right? Tiller right. said, before anything is changed, just a couple of things I would like to know. How big are the boosts in general? Will these boosts allow players to unlock animations based off the attributes, etc.? Rise has playmaking boosts. Let's say it's a plus three boost. Will that allow players to unlock more sigs and animations? Because that is huge. That is huge. But just so we know, this has already been confirmed. A attribute boost from affiliation rep do not contribute towards animation or badge requirements. So we already got that understood if it doesn't well then playmaking boost isn't that big of a deal obviously i would say shooting and defense boost would be the best true but if you can now unlock animations then it but here's my part here's my point with this y'all yes i'm not stupid playmaking finishing Can everybody take a deep breath with me? Let's 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 think. Let's think here. If I create a lockdown, chances are I'm gonna go with elite. Or chances are I go with finish and playmaking. So I can put some playmaking and finishing on my lockdown. If I create a stretch big, 
then I might want to go get that shooting. Get that defensive boost so I can help with the player I have. Do we understand that there is no wrong way here? You can make a bill and go either way, depending on how you make your bill. There is no wrong way. There is no right way, especially when it don't affect. Appreciate that. Especially when it don't affect your animations and your bath requirement. So there is no wrong way. There is no right way. It just depends on how you want to finesse your build. How to if that makes sense? What are we trying to change here? I don't hurt you. I would... What are we trying to change? There is no wrong way or right way. What is you? What is? What is the problem? If you want to go to elite, go to elite. If you want to go to rise, go to rise. Why are we trying to change? There is. Listen, it's all about how you make your bill. You can make a bill and say, "I want to go over here to elite." You can make a bill and go to prize. What difference does it make? You get to choose where you want to go. If everybody say they want to go to elite for shooting and defense, then so what? It's not gonna. It, even if they switch it around, bro. At the end of the day, people are gonna go to which one look better to them, especially when it don't affect badge requirements or animations. No, if you add in. No, 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 no. Say this. Say 2K did not tell us that it affected animations and badge requirements. Now it's an issue. Listen, people are gonna go where they wanna go, bro. We can't, we are trying to change the game based on where people are choosing to go play basketball at. Let that sink in. At the end of the day, at the end of it, at, at the end of the entire argument, people are gonna choose to go to the side that is more beneficial. Did anybody get mad when Sunset Beach kept winning? Because most everybody went over there for shooting. Do y'all remember that? Sunset Beach kept winning because they had everybody over there. Guess what? Still had people in flyers. Still had people in Old Town. I mean, in Old Town in River City. I can't, bro, I can't get mad because everybody choosing to go play at Sunset Beach. I wanted to play in Old Town. At the end of the day, people are going to go the best suited option for them. Guess what? For a lot of people, the way that they make their bills, Rye's going to be a, a, um, more important for them. So a lot of people are going to make their bills and say, the way that I play, I'm going to get a bigger boost from Rise. Some people are going to say, the way that I play, I'm going to get a, boost, a bigger boost from Elite. At the end of the day, bro, shooting in defense, if it don't affect my badge requirements, and it don't affect, so let me let me let me make it, let me make this let me say it one more time. If I'm a lockdown, I got a 99 lockdown. Do I need a boost in defense? Make it make sense to me. Why would my lockdown say to me, anonymous, I think we should go to elite so I can get a boost? Motherfucker, you got a 99 lockdown. What boost do you need? What you, you telling me you can't do that with a 99 lock? Man, you need to get up on my team then. Something, something wrong with you. If I'm a point guard, and my, and, my, and my teammates say, hey, anonymous, we should go to ride so you can get some playmaking boost. Nigga, I made a fucking point guard. I got all the playmaking boosts I need. Do you see what I'm saying? 
at the end of the day, bro, it's going to be about the bill you make. Whatever bill you make can be an OP side either way. At the end of the day, it's going to be whatever I decide to make and how I play, that's the boost I'm going to choose. Well, I don't give a Yes, I know a lot of people are looking with the bird's eye view and they're saying defense and shooting. Okay, cool. It don't affect animation and it don't affect my attributes. So at the end of the day, if I already got shooting and defense in my build, do I really need to go to elite for that? No, I'm going to go to rise. I don't know. Like I said, motherfuckers being picky, bro. Motherfuckers are out here trying to be picky. No, my G saying, I think the argument is that both affiliations are competing for the prize each season. And one affiliation is the best by far. And I would always win each season. I feel you. If a lot of people saying, because they're not thinking, they making their bill based on what they seeing from these boosts. Who would do that? Who in here would make a bill based on boost? I mean, well, not me. I know that some people out here that are going to do that, but I think that's... If you're making a bill based on boost from the affiliation, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. But I do understand that there is a prize that come with the affiliation. <laughs> hey, dog. The rise better compete. Elite better compete. I'm just saying. You better hope y'all have some compete. Listen, bro. It, hey, when I was in Old Town, dog. When I was in Old Town, my nigga, we got one. But it took a long time to get that because we was always losing to um, Sunset Beach and River City. Guess what? We, we end up getting us one. We finally got us one. I'm just saying, dog. I went to Old Town. I can't be mad that Sunset got a new park. River got a new park. I have to accept that. Old Town didn't get nothing because we didn't win. Man, niggas are tripping, bro. I'm just saying. Niggas are tripping, bro. Niggas, at, at, at the end of the day, bro. At the end of the day, you should make your bill and then. Whatever one you like better. I don't count got a new part. Well, we didn't win them events, though. We was always losing them events. I know Sunset, Sunset was winning all them events. Oh, yeah, we did got that motherfucking uh, fucking Ferris wheel shit. But anyway, the whole point of that is it's not OP. Look at this. Well, I mean, I guess it could be OP depending on how you look at it. It depends on how you look at it. It could be OP, but I don't see how it could be OP because at the end, at, like I said, most people are going to go with shooting it. I wonder if you understand that. Most of the community is going to go wherever shooting. So no matter what you do, Student is the most OP one out of all of these because that's the one that we know 2K going to cater to the most. So if you put shooting on rise, get what people are going to say. They're going to rise. If you put shooting on elite, guess what people are going to say. I'm staying at elite. Bro, at the end of the day, either 2K, leave it alone or take it out. Because wherever shooting is, that's where the community is going. Sunset Beach had the most people. Why? Because of shooting. Sunset Beach had the most people. Why? Because of shooting. Sunset Beach had the most people because of shooting. Then River City. Then Old Town. So no matter what you do with these um, perks, people are going to find the one that's best suited for them. And most everybody going to want a little boost in shooting. So, man... The whole argument about that, 
None invalid, in my opinion. Finishing and playmaking boost might be the way to go because you could get contact dunks even if your build technically wasn't supposed to. You could get new dribble sigs even if your build wasn't technically supposed to because you're getting a plus three or a plus four or a plus five to your playmaking or finishing attributes. That's the stuff. So it's like, how can y'all ask us our opinion if something should change? Exactly. Downtown said, how do we not know that's where Shakedown wanted for his park boost? Because remember, we know who Shakedown is. We know what Shakedown like to do. Shakedown is a playmaker. And we know he like to finish. He like to dunk. So what if Shakedown said, hey, I won't. And, and, and from my standpoint, too, Shakedown have the better part. What if they would try to balance it out by having elite? have the best boost so that people would not just go over there because don't we yo which which park look better to y'all rise or elite rise look way better than elite you know from my standpoint so i'm thinking that people are like man everybody gonna go to rise based on how it look based on how elite look you know he said uh shake down like the bully bash too that's what I'm saying. So, Shakedown probably did pick that, but we don't know. But I'm just saying, though, which one am I going to? She, I don't know yet. <laughs> Man, they change. I'm going to pick the one that is more suitable for my build. Do that make sense? Everybody like Elite because of the perks, not because of how it looks. From, from what I heard, from what I've been reading, Everybody choose an elite because of the perks, not because it looked good. Change when we don't even have the information about what we were supposed to get in the first place, right? You like the that's way my look? big thing with this whole thing, and, and a lot of people are commenting, like Laker fans talking about it, uh, stats is talking about it. You know, a ton, ton of comments obviously on this because it's in terms of like how the game is balanced, it's a big deal. So, like I said, I hope all the changes they're making are for the better. But without the information available, I don't even know how to respond to this. Like, I don't even know. You can't what, respond what? to it. You can't respond to it because you don't know exactly what it do. So what you'll be doing is we'll be putting, we'll be putting ourselves at a disadvantage if we respond to this statement. We don't know what they actually do. If we change anything, we could be hurting the game. My boy said he going well with defense at. That would make it balanced because I don't know what it was in the first place, okay? Also over here, you're going to see Mike Wang responded to a tweet that was deleted. He said, this cross launch and the walk back will be patched. Now, I don't know if y'all remember the walk back from NBA 2K. Now, watch this shit right here. Hopefully, he showed the video. Three, but I think that is a good thing to be patched because, first of all, nobody moves like that in real life. Nobody's running full speed forward and then instantly stops on a dime and moonwalks like Michael Jackson back to the three-point line and shoots. So that's any nigga, yo, chat, any nigga tell you that the walk back is a real basketball move, tell them to record they self doing it. Y'all want me to repeat that? Any nigga that is advocating for the walk back, tell them to go outside and record themselves running full speed with the basketball and walking full speed backwards. Tell them to do that. The walk back is fucking nasty. Shouldn't be a part of the game. Yeah, walking backwards can be in the game, but fast speed walking back, tell them to show you that they can do that. Tell any motherfucker that is advocating for walk backs Tell them to record themselves going full speed forward, stopping and going full speed backward. Tell them short to you. Man, niggas out here wildin', bro. Goddamn, walk back. That is a good thing to be patched because 
First of all, nobody moves like that in real life. Nobody's running full speed forward and then instantly stops on a dime and moonwalks like Michael Jackson back to the three-point line and shoots. So that's a good patch. But I believe the clip he's talking it, it, But see, it don't matter if it didn't look as bad. If the gameplay, if as a defender, I can't stop on the dime and and and, and readjust myself. See, my whole thing with this is, if you can do it, I should be able to do it. Now, two K is saying that they can't have both to be equal foot footing. So therefore, why give you an ability? That 2K is saying it's hard to give me. Why? Why give you the ability to change direction on a dime, but I don't have that ability? I don't agree with it. If you can change on the dime, then I want to change on the dime. And if 2K can't fix that, for whatever reason that they say, then God damn it, I need some equal shit here. I don't want a nigga to have an advantage over me. I don't want to, hey, then you got these motherfuckers that say it's so easy to guard a wall back. If it was so easy, if it was so easy to guard the wall back, it wouldn't be an issue. If it was so easy to guard the wall back, you telling me, that you were able to guard something where a person is showcasing themselves as running full speed to the paint. Don't you know motherfucker break their ankles? That's what a snatchback is? That's what a crossback is? So if motherfucker running full speed one way and then you snatch it back, don't you know that's how you break ankles? Wait, so you saying a nigga doing the same thing full speed one way and then take our full speed backward. You telling me I can guard that in the video game or or real life? It will be the same. It will be the same thing as breaking my ankle because guard will put the speed up speed. Um, big ass voice. And and listen, listen. Not only like like you said. Not only are you able to go full speed one way, then full speed backward, you able to do the same thing again. Go full speed again. Make walk back is suck. Walk the walk back suck. Walk back suck. Talking about about the cross launch is this clip right here. And if what he's talking about is this move right here where he goes a little behind the back and then a cross. Now this right here. I don't understand. I don't understand how this was the issue right here. And if what he's talking about is this move right here where he goes a little behind the back and then. I don't understand how this is an issue. And um, if what he's talking about is this move right here where he goes. The defender bit on his left side. The defender bit on his left side. When he did that, he bit on the left side. You know why the defender did this? Can anybody tell me why the defender had to bite his left? Can anybody tell me why the defender had to bite his left side? I went for an answer. Can anybody tell me why the defender had to bite on his fake left? Because he was taking him to the left. Prevent the rim run. All right. This is my opinion. And I could be wrong, but I think this is this is my opinion. 
because he was too close. See, when you play defense like this, you don't have no choice but to bite. See, what do I tell my lockdowns? If you don't want to get exposed with speed, you have to give the person space. He didn't give the offensive player no space. So he had no other choice but to take the bite. So when he took the bite, Low behind. boom, you're done. You're done. If you gonna if you crowd any opponent, there's a chance that they can explode away from you. If you play too close, this is supposed to happen to you every fucking time. This is supposed to happen to you every time. Especially in a video game. I did not see nothing wrong with this. I seen a defender playing too close and he paid for it. I don't see this as should be patched. In the back and then a crossover. I don't think that's anything like super crazy. Like y'all, let me know in the comments your Look thoughts. I don't think this is like. I feel like that's something somebody could. Ain't no way this should have been patched. And this is what I'm saying. The 2K community is a bunch of motherfuckers that can't play the game. Now, from a standpoint of having speed boosting, speed boosting is not going anywhere. He had to recover from far. All right, so let's let's look at it again. Do in real. Tell me know in the comments your thoughts. I don't think this is like. I feel like that's something somebody could do in real life. Like you go behind the. Look at that. That's on a defender. That's on the. That's on the defender. The defender fucked up. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. We when we when we play 2K and we want to patch everything that's mistakes have to be mistakes. He do it. He definitely trash should be guarding that for. We have to allow mistakes to be mistakes. We cannot cover every mistake. If we do that, we're gonna take the game of basketball. And now it's going to be, it's not going to be your choice anymore. It's going to be up to 2K. If we, if we're taking all the mistakes out of the game, then what's the point of creating the skill gap? These things like this have to stay in the game. For the simple fact that it's a video game. See, now, as much as I like things to be sim nation and realistic, I understand that some things in a video game has to stay within the game. We have to punish people that play bad defense. The same reason I said we should punish lockdowns at the 40, at the 20%, the 40%, and the 75%. You cannot. When you get fucked up right here, the best thing you can do is to go find somebody else to guard and allow your teammate to pick him up. It, it, that's the best thing you can do. When you fuck up like this, the best thing you can do is help your teammate step up. Back and then cross over. Behind the back, cross over that way. Like, I feel like that's just a normal, like, combo. That replay? Behind the back and then... Crossover. I don't think that's anything, like, super crazy. Like, y'all let me know. Look, yeah, they... Did. Cool. Behind the back and then a crossover. I don't think that's anything... Look at that. Look at, look at, bro. You see what I'm saying? Look at this guy. He, I wish we knew who this was. I wish we knew who this was. Look at him. He was fucked up from the, this, man, Steve. We can't pass things off of bad defenders. Look, look at him, bro. Look at him one more time. Look at him. Look at him. Watch this. Boss launch is this clip right here. And if we look at him, we can't pass things off of people that can't play proper defense. What we gotta do is pass things that are broken against good defender, like say dribbling through my body. When I'm playing great defense, I hit steal and the and the and the, and the, and the ball, my hand go through the ball. 
Those are the type of things we have to get patched. We can't patch something based on somebody that don't know how to play. That motherfucker gone, bro. He's he's look at him. This nigga tripping, man. Talking about is this move right here where he goes. Guess what else he doing, y'all? Guess what else do y'all see he doing wrong? This clip right here. And if what he's. Let me do y'all see it. For all my people that are good at 2K, what do you see? What do you see right here? He's doing something else wrong. I'm waiting on somebody to get it. What do you see? What do you see? Well, now he's sprinting. That's not it. He holding L2. He holding L2. He put himself in a defensive stand while he's not in front of them. You see what I'm talking about? We can't get things patched based on people that don't actually know how to play the game. He's holding L2. He's not even in the defensive stand to be holding L2. What is he doing holding L2? Why is he in 10 D when he's not even in front of his land? And we patching things based off of people like this? Man, come on, dog. This is what I'm talking about, bro. We are going to ruin our own game. We're going to ruin our own game. We're going to, yo, we're getting too many things patched, y'all. We haven't played the game, man. We haven't played the game. This dude is horrible on defense. What he's talking about is this move right here, here where he goes a little behind the back. Look at that. He, come on, bro. I ain't nothing about this should have been patched. I mean, it is what it is, though. Who can community? Where, I don't think that's anything like super crazy. Like y'all, let me know in the comments your thoughts. I don't think this is like. I feel like once again, once again, Claw, Claw. What do I tell you every day? Stop guarding too close, Claw. What we do in the stage? We went crazy the last time we played in the stage. What what that was about four or five days ago now? Last time we played in the stage, me, Claw, and Day Day. Went crazy. Why? Because my lockdown was able to guard the middle, and me and Day Day was able to guard the wings. And I kept telling my lockdown, and my lockdown finally understood what it, what I was saying. I said, Clo, don't guard too close. If you guard too close, now he get the option to rim run, and he get the option to fade or dot the corners. But because my lockdown listened. We went crazy in the stage, lost one game. We only lost one game. We were playing on the 5K, the 2,500, uh, the 1,500, and the, and the 500. We didn't play the 10K, but we played the 5K. We only lost one game because my lockdown gave the point guard space to be a crash dummy. Most point guards are not going to come and get theirs in about five seconds. You know what they're going to do? They're going to waste their clock out. Doing all that dumb shit, going left to right. And when they realize that the lockdown is playing good spacing in between that left, the left right only work when you're guarding close up. The left right only works when you're close up on your defender and you chase him all the way to the left. And then you then he's gonna come back. You don't get the comeback. So that's why you gotta have your teammates and you have to do a good job yourself at having space so now if he go all the way what you do you trail him then you guess what he coming back you get to meet him now you are tight to it for making sense tight to it for making sense it, it just is crazy how many people play incorrect defense and then they try to blame the game no 2k have a real issue 2K have a real issue where it won't allow you to move. So that's the only way you can have a chance at guarding the left right fade in 2K23. And guess what? It's still hard to guard that shit. In 2K23, it's still hard to guard it even when you're playing the game correctly. Why? Because the defense don't work. So even if you're guarding the space and correct, 2K will have a bad shot be 9%. When you really is there, 2K will be like 9%, 11%. So even if you do the right thing in 2K23, it don't matter. 
And that's why it's the worst 2K of all, all times. That's something somebody could do in real life. Like, you go behind the back and then cross over, behind the back, cross over that way. Like, I feel like that's just a normal, like, combo. Like, I don't, unless I'm, unless he's talking about this right here, this fat stop. I, they call it a fat stop. All my sweats, you guys know. But, like, the more casual players, you guys probably don't know. But, basically, a lot of people are using this fat stop to, like, crab people in Pro-Am. And it got really glitchy as the year went on. So maybe he's talking about that, but I wouldn't consider that a cross launch unless that's what Mike Wayne calls it. But I think I feel I feel like that's like a cross launch. Like if that's what they're talking about, y'all let me know what y'all think about patching that. I feel like that's a, literally a basketball move. Like why I don't I don't think that needs to be that needs to be addressed. To me, that's just a normal play. But we also have more animations being patched, so there's this clip that was floating around from Giannis from Community Day where he grabs the rebound and he does the blowout dribble twice and gets straight to the basket. So the first thing about this, I wouldn't be, at first I was a little concerned, but then I heard from people that you can bump steal this. So like if you blitz this, right, as he th does the throwout dribble, if you blitz this, you can get a bump steal and steal the ball. So I'm going to tell you all right now. He said that was because of the healthy badge load out facts, virus. But like I said, virus, remember what I said. We will come back to that. We'll come back to that. The 2K community is going to feel that pain of that. Um, This right here is going to be OP, no matter who have it, if you know what you're doing. That uh, leap launching the ball ahead, uh, so many lockdowns going to be left in the backcourt because all they do is blitz, 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 blitz. So many lockdowns, in my opinion, are not lockdowns. They just have a bill that have a lot of defense on it. But they don't actually know what they're doing. They just have a bunch of fucking attributes that says that, hey, they're a lockdown. If you watch most people play the lockdown spot, it's horrible. they horrible defenders. They blame the game. When the game is places that the game should not be blamed. You should be blaming yourself for what you're doing. Motherfucker, like, like another one, I get on my teammate, I tell him, why are you blitzing when the score is 19 to 19? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing full court pressing a motherfucker on a video game? This is not real life. On a video game, the score is 19 to 19. So now what you're doing, you put the entire team at risk because you panic because the score so it's a lot of things that we see in the 2k community motherfucker don't pinch you have people that play 2k guarding face guarding their man all day did you tell me who the fuck okay that in the 2k community motherfucker would say you got dropped off and ain't pinch one time who made it okay in 2K to face guard your man all day and then say you're locked down in trash? When did we start okay in that? So now we're saying the nigga that playing lockdown is ass because he can't stop a real run when the nigga had to drive all the way over there to your side because you was face guarding your man, you wasn't able to pinch. Yeah, them motherfuckers say, that ain't my man scoring all the points. Well, you jackass, you ain't pinch him one time. We have people in 2K that all they care about is how many points their man scored. All they care about. We have people that play NBA 2K. And guess what, y'all? If you can understand what I'm saying, you can get the same mindset at why they like playing with a bill that can do everything. Think about it, y'all. Think about what I'm saying. The same guys and girls that don't want they play other score, so they make sure they face guard them and, and they never help out. It's the same people that want to make a bill to do everything. Y'all see how it works? All about self. No teamwork, no defense. I want to make a bill to play every position on the court. I want to be able to guard every position on the game. I want to have an advantage. And then I also, um, if your man score, that's on you. That ain't on me. Because I, motherfuckers really be ass at the basketball. Motherfuckers really ass at basketball, bro. Ba when it comes to basketball, motherfuckers have no type of logic whatsoever. 
never helping you. They'll watch you get cooked for 21 points and then call you ass. And then you say, why you ain't help me? That ain't my man. You stupid motherfucker. You, you. Some people are stupid when it comes to basketball. That's why they have this whole mindset of, I want to create a bill to do everything on the basketball court. What's good, my G ears? What's good, gang? That's why they create these. That's why they have this mindset of, I want to score all the points and then guard the corner. You know, shout out to all the little point guards. Y'all appreciate it. Shout out to all the little point guards that are able to guard the corners. There's not a lot of good point guards that know how to guard the corners, man. There are some out here, though. You have to do the blowout dribble, and if that's the case, you have to do the blowout dribble when you have a ton of space. So I'm not really worried about that. Obviously, this is playing against the computer. So like right here, if this was a huge... You know what's up? Let's talk about it. Motherfuckers, uh, watch your lockdown. Jump in the paint. And still guard their man in the corner instead of rotating up and making that lockdown pass to the corner. Type one if you know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all in here right now. You was that guy. Man, why you jumped in the corner? I mean, why you jump? Why you jump? Well, goddamn it, if I jump, don't you know you can take your up ass and go up there and help me, nigga? Stop fucking looking. Motherfucker, so watch your lockdown jump and still sit there and guard that man. I, I'm telling you, bro, the 2K community is full of people that don't know how to help each other. They just sit there and watch you get abused by a good point guard, or, you know, and then I sit there and be like, damn, he cooking you. Well, motherfucker, maybe if you fucking help me, this nigga won't be cooking me. Have you thought about that? Maybe if you showed yourself a little bit, maybe if you stepped up a little bit, it'll make him say to himself, well, damn, his man gonna come and help. Yo, I ain't gonna call no name. I watched a dude not too long ago get mad because the corner men were coming out pitching him. <laughs> and he had to keep shooting bad shots and he lost. <laughs> Type one if you to see that before. I seen somebody just playing the stage. He the corners kept coming out pitching him, so he didn't get to shoot a free shot. That one for a cussing. Man, why they keep fucking pitching me, man? Why they keep fucking pitching? Fuck this shit, man. I'm like, this nigga is mad at the niggas for playing smart. I said, God, you can't even play. Man, some of these content creators, you can't even play smart against them. They get, this dude was really mad that the corners were helping their lockdown out. Man, every time I get ready to fucking shoot, man, they coming over here pitching and helping this motherfucker. You know I'll cook your ass if it wasn't for your teammates. I said, what type of shit is this? This can't be real. I said, this, this can't be real. He mad because his lockdown is getting help. He want to abuse the lockdown on a shitty ass game like 2K23. He mad because this nigga has help. The 2K community, bro. Something serious, though. Human, and you were to blitz right here and press X and get that, like, bump steal, you would be able to get it is what I'm told. But Mike Wang told us Giannis was accidentally assigned a Lillard's dribble style in the community day build. This will be fixed for launch. So that's another animation. Check this out. Them same people that want to exploit the game in the 2v2 and the 3v3 refuse to go play 1v1. Have y'all noticed that? The same people that want to exploit the system within 2v2s and 3v3s refuse to go play 1v1. Think about it. They want to exploit the system and outrun you on the 2v2s and 3v3s when you buy your, when, you know what I'm saying? Because they know that the system is a little different and, it, and it's not make it take it and, and all that type of shit. They won't go play 1v1 though. Nah, it, 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 check this out though. It don't matter if it's the centers or not. They won't go play against no guards or none of that. 
them same dudes that exploit the defense in 2v2s and 3v3s won't go play in the theater 1v1? They don't like playing 1v1 because they know they got to play their own defense. They make a bill to exploit you on the offense with the speed, but they don't have nothing to, to, to they can't do the same thing if you was to, because see, they're going to need a bigger bill. Because if they lose the ball, they know they're in trouble. So they know that they can get away with the speed exploit, the speed unbalance. I know, I know most of y'all don't. I know most of the people that are good in 2v2s and 3v3s, you have your way when it comes to the speed difference of 2K23, but you know not to go actually play 1v1. You know that. That there, you know, I guess, who knows how many other mistakes were in there. Hopefully mistakes like that, right? Like, this is a good patch. Like, obviously, if you gave Giannis the wrong dribble style, yes, that's a good patch. But patching like this... I just don't like y'all again. Let me know. I don't see why this like why does Facts. that need to be pat what's wrong with that? Facts, I don't gosh. understand. Like I guess cause people were complaining on Twitter. I don't even know. Are we gonna get into that whole debate? Like, I feel like there's no way somebody on Twitter saw this little behind the back and then a quick crossover and said, nah, that's cheese. That needs to be patched. Like there's no way, right? Like am I like I said, y'all, shout out to Joe Knows, man. Great video, y'all. Make sure y'all go hit that like button. Love, love what Joe Knows been doing lately, man. Love it. Um, Y'all better calm down on asking 2K to patch stuff, man. I'm telling you. Y'all ain't gonna like it. Y'all ain't gonna like it, man. You're asking 2K all these, can you patch this, can you patch that? You ain't gonna like it. You ain't gonna like it. When they leave the game alone, because you know, you know what they're gonna do, right? Y'all know the, this this stuff we're seeing from Mike Wayne. Y'all know he about to get ready to leave us, right? He done done his job. He done did everything y'all asked of him. So he finna go on his vacation. You know that, right? Now when he go on his vacation and he leave the game to where y'all been asking, and now this man don't show up for another nine months. Blame yourself. Blame yourself. Because you know he's going to get ready to go on vacation. After they finish running this promo and 2K is out for about three weeks, the Dells, they're going to go back into working behind the scenes. So y'all out here getting all this shit patched up and now these people going to work behind the scenes. All right. Crazy now. Crazy. All right, now. That little.